Hello guys, Lord Levan is here and welcome back to Atila Total War and here I want to show you the combat of two gods, Ostrogoths. I'm playing as Ostrogoths and old foe Marcus the Norse is playing as, uh, yep, yeah, I'm playing as Visigoths and he's playing as Ostrogoths and I will show you my setup quickly. Two units of Germanic Harlers in the center, after three units of Gothic Palatina Defectors. Here they are. Afterwards, I have got two units of uh, noble Germanic horsemen. Okay, I will count the horses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, for now I am not breaking the rules. All is fair. I have got these noble Germanic horsemen and other Thracian uh, warriors. These are not Thracian Oswarms, but these guys are good in melee combat as well. Excellent armor piercing damage and has missile weapon. Ah, uh, okay, what's on my right flank? I have got the pikes, yep, um, step by step I have uh, replaced the uh, spearmen with these pikes, cause pikes are very good to defend and to secure the flanks. These are very light pike, pike infantry, as usual I like uh, more medium pikes, who can stand a bit more and resist the missile troops. Uh, Okay, afterwards I have German uh, Brigand, the Skimishers, the Shotgun Noble Gothic Lances I have got. These are very good guys. And here is Noble Gemini Horsemen and other Thracian Warriors. The same I have got on my, on my other side. Pikes, Skimishers, two units of cavalry and Thracian Warriors. Let's go and see the Marcus setup. Um, the setup of Marcus consists of... Uh, Four units of Gammon archers. He likes his Gammon archers. Always bring these guys. After there are pikes. Yep, he has three units of pikemen. He has got these Gothic pikemen. Yep, uh, I have Gammon pikemen, very light pikes, and these are the Gothic pikemen, light pikes. Look how light they are. <laughs> Okay, and uh, afterwards he has got the shock calf here, noble gothic lances. Uh, and that's it, he does not have the melees, yep, in the rear he has got the melee trusty and warriors as I have got, and gothic general he has got. My general is on foot here, Germanic nobles, and he has on horse. On the left flank, we have four units he has got, two cavalry, one um, shock calf, Germanic lances, and uh, Gothic lances and one Germanic horseman. Here would be the Thracian warriors, Thracians, and here is the noble Germanic swordsman. Noble Germanic swordsman, medium uh, melee infantry. The same here, medium melee infantry. Now uh, this uh, Germanic swordsman and Thracian warriors he has got. Okay, let's begin and uh, let's observe. Yep, he has got these Gemnik uh, right, Riders. He has got this Kimisher Cavalry because uh, uh, he has a good experience against me with his Kimisher Cavalry. He's uh, killing my elite troops who are situated in the rear. And he's doing the same. He's sending his uh, Skimishers forward to kill my boys. And I'm sending, maybe I have noted that, and I'm sending these guys a bit in the rear. Yep, my, I'm regrouping my center and left, right flank as well. Okay, they are coming. <laughs> I'm afraid of these guys, I can't resist them, because I have, uh, I have only these German brigands. Yep, I have noted that, so I have uh, regrouped my Germanic brigands and I have sent forward. I am uh, retreating with my noble Germanics. Okay, these are light skimisher cavalry. Okay, now I can concentrate on my uh, main troops here. We are facing each other, and he has uh, yeah he has outnumbered me with his. Uh, uh, with his uh, missile troops, I'm uh, I'm trying to chase them and kill kill these riders. Okay, he has used some kind of ability. 
rate their speed. Okay, for now no one is making mistakes here. He's retreating and the gap between my uh, protection cavalry and my brigand is increasing now. They have, they have they opened yeah they have opened fire because uh, the archers have a good uh, yep this is my first mistake but uh, he does not want to charge them he's just retreating and that's why he's losing his calf yeah because I think it was a mistake he could uh, crush my skirmishers and destroy as many as possible. Now I'm chasing them, yep, and he has left, he has lost nearly the half. Okay, my two harlot units are forward against his uh, four units of uh, archers. And I'm supporting with the Gothic Palatina defectors, they have good armor and has missile weapons. So with this armor they can protect themselves from this uh, poor fire of the uh, very light bow infantry Germanic archers. Okay, I have to regroup, but I'm under fire. Who is firing at me? No one, I think. These guys were firing. I don't know. Okay, finally, my hurlers are wavering now. I have to do something, and I'm doing. I'm going. I'm uh, pushing forward my right flank. Because he has got only 4 units here. And I have pikes as well. Pikes can uh, stop the cauldron charge. Yep, now I'm under fire. Yeah, if someone tell me that. Yep, I have to retreat. I have to retreat, now his skirmisher cavalry is far away, I am sending my pikes forward. Hallers are destroyed and he is firing the uh, flammable arrows to finally break the morale of my hallers. How many left? 120, 73, 120, 119. Okay, now I am under fire of my chars and warriors are under fire. Okay, he has concentrated his fire against my uh, Trussian warriors and my uh, shock calf. Okay, it's time to go a bit left, uh, a bit to the right. Retreating with my left flank as well. Okay, now he doesn't uh, uh, does not have enough time to control his Gemini Knight Riders. So he's concentrated on his main troops and especially on his archers because he, uh, he has used 4 slots for these cheap Germanic archers and, and these guys should do well. Yep, 42 kill they have got, 43 kill they have got, 70, 77 kills, yep, they have worked well. Okay, now I will fire the pilums. But I'm wasting my precious pilums against these uh, Germanic archers. Okay. Under fire they are. And my shock cow is going. I will stop with my. Uh, I, I will stop them with my hurlers, and afterwards I will try to charge, but it would be suicide. Yep, that's why I'm retreating and sending my pikes forward. What's then? Well, I have to, uh, I have to think and decide what to do now, because uh, he's. His archers are doing well, so uh, it would be, uh, it would be wiser to send my melee, uh, melee troops forward and to go in melee combat yep. I gave these uh, archers too many 
too many opportunities to empty their uh, arrow ammunition so they have fired all these arrows against me trussing are own under fire yep they are facing with their backs good good move Levan good okay I will charge them who will win this is heavy melee calf heavy melee they, both are Germanic archers uh, Germanic damn Germanic horsemen I could use but uh, they have uh, stuck against this uh, noble German horseman I can uh, I should retreat and regroup once again I'm charged by these Trussian warriors I will send my Trussians forward as well yep they have fired their pilums killed many of them I'm, uh, I'm regrouping with my shock calf and it would be a bad charge Okay, noble gothic lances about noble gothic lances with the support of this of these guys finally I have destroyed his Trussian warriors but he has got another Trussian warriors and my guys will be charged by his cavalry yeah they are standing so <laughs> good What's about here? I'm sending the uh, cavalry to protect this uh, yeah, recent casualty sustained and units losing. My boys did well. They ca have killed more Trussian warriors and this uh, uh, Gamenic horseman. Yeah, charges. I will sacrifice these units. Okay, Gothic Palatina against this uh, Gemnic Swordsman. Gemnic Swordsman is medium melee as well as uh, my Gothic Palatinas. Okay, what's going on? I will uh, I will destroy now these units. Why they were winning? Okay, they have charged for now. That's why they were winning. Cause here was the uh, Gemnic uh, Gemnic Horseman here. Okay, I have to regroup. He managed to regroup before me, so I have left so many units on my left flank unused and he's protecting his uh, center with his pikes. My boys are shaken. Yep, yeah, another, another bit charge with the angle. Damn. Okay, charge these Trussians in the rear. Yeah, recent casualty sustained and they are losing. My boys will charge now. Here are Trussians as well, yeah, Trussians. I have used my Germanic uh, nobles, my uh, general here. My shock cow is wavering. I have uh, gained some opportunity here. I have destroyed several units of his uh, Gamenic swordsmen. Now I have to regroup. I have to go forward. Okay, what's going on? My general is in the front. I have to. Uh, I have to help them. I receive the charge. Yeah, come on, get up, boys. Only few of them got up. That's why my general is wavering, and this was the crucial moment in this battle. My general, yep, my general was broken and fled away. Also, yep, his skirmishers, his skirmishers are coming as well. That's why the morale of my troops are, sh they are shaken. They are winning, but they are shaken. So, okay. I have destroyed, I'm destroying another uh, cavalry here, but he has got these skimshers, he has got these uh, 
44 uh, with 44 warriors this gambling horseman now his general is crashing against my troops yep I have destroyed his uh, main uh, main uh, infantry troops here but he has got the archers and they are firing their uh, missiles flammable missiles I have to regroup faster to surround his uh, general, not to give them a chance, not to give him a chance to escape. But my warriors are shaken. Minus four morale they have got, and his general managed to escape. And uh, my bunch of uh, warriors are a good charge, a good target for his archers. Oh, they are out of arrows finally. But I don't have enough troops to resist one good charge and they will be smashed. Yep. That's the point. That's it. I have uh, three shaken, four shaken units and I have lost one of them, the battle is no longer in our favor. That's definitely true. My Gothic Palatina tried to catch his general. But they are chased by these Gamonic archers. It's question of time for now. against archers my boys even shaken warriors are good shaken palatinas but in the rear there is das das is coming from the rear okay they have stopped wavering yep they are shaken but units winning decisively okay now they got yep, army losses and he's broken okay this was in Wallen defeat and let's go and uh, see the end screen and in the end screen we can see that my general could not kill more than 12 warriors ah, gothic palatinas were good my Thracian, these guys were good these guys were good skirmishers yep they have done their job my shock cup of course i can this game, uh, this game relies on shock calf and I can't use my shock calf effective. Look, this is not a good performance, but much better than mine. Okay, what about uh, Marcus? Marcus, yeah, these guys were good. 118 kills they have got. His uh, Gothic general was good, under 200 kills. And these guys, 170 kills. Okay, guys, this is a Wallen defeat, and uh, don't leave and don't switch off. I will show you another battle against Marcus. Okay, one minute. And this is the second battle. I have chosen these Clavenians. I'm playing first time against uh, with this player fraction, so. Uh, Sclavenians against Huns, and I have got some kind of uh, box, but it's a very poor box because uh, the rear part is not protected uh, protected well. But the front uh, front uh, part, I'm satisfied with my front part, and I have got so many Slavic archers, and here are these Slavic uh, hunters and Slavic archers. What's about Marcus? Marcus has got uh, step, who are they? Step tribes people. Step tribes people. Here is the noble Akati. Uh, who are they? Akatsiri. Yep, Akatsiri riders. Here are step warlords, war warriors, chosen war warriors. They are good. 
these chosen Nova warriors are very good. Medium, this is these are medium melee infantry, but excellent morale, good armor piercing damage, and good armor they have got. Okay, here this uh, shock calf, noble step cataphracts, they are good. Have shock calf. And now I'm regrouping with my box and he will try to surround me and destroy me. He has scattered his troops. He is retreating because he was afraid of my uh, poisoned archers. And he will come. Nope. His center is retreating. Yep. He will try to use his flanks. He will retreating he will retreat with his uh he will retreat with his uh, center, but uh, use more active his uh, flanks. Okay, look at my... Uh, these are Slavic archers. Here I have got the Swordsman. I have got the uh, Axemen. But I don't have the two-handed Axemen. They are with shields. One-handed X-Men with uh, small uh, axes they have got. Run, run, these, uh, these spears. Okay, I'm trying to reach uh, his left flank. Now he's using his right flank. Let's see here what's going on. Okay, I'm retreating. And I will take a position right now and try to... Okay, my boys will open fire, and it w it's bad. It's a bad idea because I have poisoned my guys, and they are dying. Look how many have have died here, as well as enemy. Five of them have died. Yep, seven of them. But I have killed my poor guys. 16 of them have died uh, with the friendly poisoned arrows. So, okay, we have to open fire. We have to open fire and kill these. These are the light melee infantry, poor armor piercing damage, and they are very poor. These are very cheap and step tribes people, and even uh, women are fighting there. Okay, my boys open fire against chosen war warriors. It's good. I have to kill these chosen war warriors. And step by step they are dying. Yep, I have killed nearly 20 of them. Okay. I have opened fire to kill the not these steps people. And they are coming to charge. I'm retreating with my archers, of course, and... Yep, shield wall. And I will stand as... As I can. Yep, combat attack, losing current combat. But they, why they are exhausted? Because we were running so much. Okay, I have used my horse archers against these step tribes more. Chosen war warriors are coming. Okay, I have poisoned these noble noble guys. Now they will charge. I will try to uh, repel them. What's about on the other flank? Yep, I have got these uh, Swarx Riders as well. And they are in battle. Okay, we have uh, defeated these th Step Stripes when it, it wasn't hard. Another Archer Warriors were coming. This very light Bow Cavalry. Okay, here my, uh, here my Spearmen are smashed. And I'm losing my left flank. I have lost these guys as well. Okay, come on boys. Come on boys, fire your... 
And for now it seems that the defeat is certain because I have le I have lost my uh, flanks and only the center uh, only the uh, center is still fighting. Okay, charges with these noble catapults. Yep, I have to use these guys and I have to kill his uh, general here. Okay, these archers are firing to kill these units. I will sacrifice my archers to kill as many catapults and as many noble. Okay, they will flee. They will flee because only 8 of them are left. Okay, my archers are wavering and are running away. My uh, Slavic X warriors are butchering down these uh, step catapults. And yep, yeah, his general, the enemy general is dead, and it was great for for this battle, for for Slavic Sklaven Sklavenian they are right, Sklavenians. Okay, and I have killed, uh, I have destroyed the infantry here. Another infantry have run here. These guys are wavering. These guys are wavering, and I need several of my uh, good archers to fire. Okay, my uh, my horse butchers will charge in the rear of these chosen war warriors, and they will defeat them. Okay, the bodyguard came back, but without general, cause the, his general is dead, lying down here. Okay, who is left? He has got the shock cow as well, and I forgot. I'm firing. Look where I'm firing. I have noticed that uh, my archers have stopped running very late. Yep, now I have uh, noted that to open fire and to kill these noble catapults. Yep, it would be good now because they will die. They will die definitely. Yep, my general is in action. Units losing decisively, but why he's yep under uh, shock car charge? He's losing decisively. I have to use my chosen shields uh, against his against the cavalry. Look, my two of my units are wavering, but I have defeated. No, I have. Yep, I have defeated this cavalry. Another cavalry was smashed, and three units are left. One of these uh, units winning, just winning, and I have to spread my units and uh, take my warlord guard back. Okay, come, come, come faster. I have to reach these guys. Okay, I have opened fire. Good, they will die, they will die. Nope, he noted that and he is preparing a charge. I tried to stop them with my shields. Okay, how much? Only eight uh, cho war chosen warriors are. Our general has fallen, and it was a hit in the back. Cause look, my guys are running one by one. Damn! With my general alive, I could win this battle. It was very dramatic. I could send him back and yep, use my shields and this. Ah, uh, parents, champions. Okay, but look, I have defeated his chosen war warriors and only... How much? 19 against 19. Good. Okay, and they are firing. Uh, they are fighting now. Okay. How much? 13 against 13. Good job. And... And I have lost. I have lost, damn it. Okay, let's go and see the end screen now. And uh, it was parents champions, right? Parents champions who were only 29 was left. Damn, it was so dramatic. 13 warriors against 13, 12, 11, and afterwards my guys retreated against his cho chosen over warriors. Maybe 
confirm this. Okay, now uh, I we can count the kills of the Slavic hunters because the poison kills aren't counted. And these guys were good. Parents chosen, parents chosen 29 kills. They were charged by the Shokao of uh, Hunik uh, army here. What's about him? His uh, Shokao, look at his Shokao, destroyed my. <laughs> destroyed my archers these guys could not do better yeah he has got the elite troops and the chief one for my uh, chief one for my slavic hunters okay guys this was a valiant dramatic defeat and uh, for today that's it if you like my videos and want more don't forget to subscribe below thank you very much see you soon